everyone before I make my second breakfast of the morning I am just doing a little skincare and getting ready for the day so I know that I mentioned in my last video that I'd ordered some typology skincare and I've been trying it out for the last few days and I have to say I love it so I'm really excited to say that typology is sponsoring this part of the video the products that I've been trying out are all focused around the eye area which I would say is probably the area that bothers me the most because I can tend to get quite bad dark circles first of all before we even get into the products and we just appreciate how gorgeous and minimalistic the packaging is these are the kind of products that you actually want to leave out in your bathroom and the simple minimal design is in line with what the brand stands for which is simple sustainable naturally effective skincare so I'm just going to pop on some of this lash and brow serum my skincare routine is never complete without a lash and brow serum and this one is enriched with 2% pea peptides and castor oil to really strengthen your lashes and brows I find that using a lash serum really does make the biggest biggest difference the second product that I'm going to pop on is this under eye serum which is enriched with 5% caffeine and 5% niacinamide which just really really helps to depuff and naturally brighten the under eye area by boosting circulation and reducing water retention. I do also just want to mention this gorgeous biphase eye makeup remover. Again, it's enriched with pea peptides and castor oil. I always think there's nothing worse than when you have to really, really scrub at your eye makeup and really dry out your whole eye area and make it really sore to get your eye makeup off. Um, so this is amazing because the oil gently removes all of your makeup and then it's even got chamomile in to soothe the eye area. So I absolutely Absolutely love this. I really truly love this brand and just everything that they stand for and they very kindly included a free gift if you spend over £30 and use the link that I have popped into my description. The free gift is what I was using on my lips at the very start which is this gorgeous little tinted balm that's enriched with hyaluronic acid. I've been using this on all of my no makeup days just to give me a bit of colour. So I will leave the link that you need in my description box so that you can go and have a browse and get yourself your little tinted balm gift. Don't say I didn't warn you about wearing this set constantly 24 7 from the day that I got it. I am aware I wore it in my last video and I am aware that I'll probably be wearing it in my next video. That's just the comfiest, comfiest thing. So second breakfast time. I sometimes do this thing where I have two smaller breakfasts and it's normally on the mornings when I work out because I'm someone who needs to immediately, immediately eat something after I've worked out. Otherwise I just don't feel, I don't know, I just don't feel right. Like I start to feel really weak and weird. I don't know if anyone else gets that. So after I did Pilates this morning, I obviously had my smoothie as you guys saw, and now it is second breakfast time. And for my second breakfast, I will be having avocado toast. I could make something different just to do something different, but that would honestly be lying because I would honestly say six out of seven days or even 29 out of 30 days of the month, I'm having a smoothie or avo toast or obviously on days like today them both together but one thing I do do is just try and switch up like my toppings and stuff for my avocado toast just to give it that tiny bit of variation um it's just part of my morning ritual and that's just the way that I am so let me show you what version of avo toast we're making this morning
I am just going to quickly pop out with Rue, get some steps in, and then I think I'm going to do a bit of a food shot while I'm out as well. I will wear my Apple Watch so I can tell you roughly how many steps I do when I take Rue out every day. I normally walk for about an hour, an hour and 15 or something. So let's get going. super quick haul of everything that I just got. now lunchtime and for lunch today I'm making something that I used to always always make and then I kind of switched it out for soup for a while as you guys already know I am very much a creature of habit when it comes to what I eat particularly for breakfast and lunch because they're the meals that I don't really want to have to put too much thought into or too much time so I do tend to just recycle and spice up similar-ish meals so today we are making one of my many variations of like beans chickpeas today we're using borlotti beans on toast I sometimes make these tomatoey, sometimes make them with pesto, sometimes make them with kimchi. There's about a million different variations. So let me show you what we're gonna put into today's. Like I said, I'm using borlotti beans today, but chickpeas will work, butter beans, mixed beans, pretty much anything like this will work. And I literally use all of them interchangeably. And then today is a pesto kind of day because I've got a bit of pesto left in this jar just to use up. Um, and then I also have some brown rice. I find that this is a really good meal just for like throwing what you have into. Then I've got some spinach here, which I'll throw in and I'm gonna throw in some more of these radish sprouts because honestly, I really don't love these. So I'm just trying to find ways to use them. And then the same seasoning as always, my garlic flakes and some black pepper. Oh, and I also left a piece of the vegan bacon from breakfast to throw into this as well. So let's get going. Every time I make a meal that looks like this, I have to just say, I appreciate it's probably the least aesthetic lunch you could ever see, but I promise it's so delicious. Like there's a reason I have it all the time. Try it and then you can tell me it's gross. I'm so bloated today and I just thought I'd show you because this is normal. Everyone looks like this sometimes. I'll be honest, being bloated is actually quite rare for me because I've just worked on my gut health so much, but we had dinner out last night. And I just woke up like this this morning, everyone. So there you go. That's not gonna help with the person who said they were getting pregnancy vibes from me in the last video. I am just snacking on some of this corn. It's so, so addictive. Like I literally just can't stop eating it. I've just been doing a bit of planning and prepping for dinner tonight because my dad is here for dinner. He has been at the new house today helping with the builders because we finally have builders there, which I'm so excited about. I'll give you guys a big update on that on sunday but yeah he's been there helping us sort that out today so somehow i've roped myself in to cooking dinner for kenny and dad tonight and i don't know how i've ended up in this position because they are the two best cooks that i know but i'm thinking of cooking something a little bit different my dad is on a bit of a health kick at the moment so i think i'm going to make a noodle ramen kind of a dish i haven't decided exactly what yet maybe like a turmeric broth kind of thing so I'm just gonna look up some recipes for that. I'm not gonna start cooking yet because it's a little bit early. So I will pick up with you when I'm cooking dinner. <laughs> As I mentioned earlier, I am cooking, but my wonderful sous chef here is gonna help me, aren't you? Um, and yeah, we're cooking for three people. So I don't know about portion size and whatever. Um, you love me so much, don't you? How much? Enough. Enough for what? A lifetime? They keep your own. So I've asked everyone for their opinions on having a turmeric ramen broth kind of a thing. 
including you. It's not for you, but you, we had to let you have the boat. Um, and everyone thinks that sounds good. So let me show you what we're using. Say hi. Hello. Hello. You've not been in the video, have you? Right, so I've put out everything that I think we're going to need. Um, I'll just run you through it really quickly. So we've got the noodles, obviously, we're gonna use these pad thai noodles. We've got some tofu, and then for the broth, we've got coconut milk, we've got curry powder, we've got turmeric, um, green chili, onion, garlic, and then for some veggies slash toppings, we've got asparagus, spring onion, kale, and then this is some spinach as well. So we're gonna to have to do this in bits because for example, we need to fry the tofu, and we need to fry the veggies and stuff before we put it all together. So I'll just take you through step by step and let you know if it turns out good. dinner looks like now that it's all done i think it looks good i did try a bit of the broth while it was cooking and i thought it was quite nice so let's give it a go i think it's good dinner was really good by the way i would highly recommend trying that that's one of my favorite recipes and i know i'll be making that one again it was so good but yeah we've just been talking all about the new house making some decisions on kitchen stuff and whatever um, and now it's time to take my makeup off and watch a bit of TV and get into bed. I've obviously had my evening cup of tea and now I will proceed to have like at least two herbal teas before I go to bed as well. I just, nothing beats a cup of tea. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on Sunday. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.